Hello friends, in this video I shall introduce to you a very commonly done test in urological practice which is Euroflowmetry. You can see a commode like machine in this picture and the patient is asked to pass urine in this commode to do this test. You may ask me what is the actual need of this test. Whenever a patient tells us the difficulties in passing urine or in holding urine, we cannot assess the severity of his problem just by listening to his complaints. So it is necessary to objectivize the symptoms of the patient and therefore we do this test. In clinical practice, we have noted that patients of different age group, different sex narrate their lower urinary symptoms in different ways. It depends on their educational status, social status and the kind of work they are engaged in. So to look at it from a simplistic view and to produce a document of their symptoms, this test has been evolved. The lower urinary tract symptoms such as passing urine too often or experiencing blockade in passing urine or not being able to pass urine completely or noticing that the urinary stream is becoming thinner and thinner day by day. These are common symptoms of low urinary tract and this can happen to males, this can happen to females and this can also happen to children. So anybody can have these symptoms and anybody can come to the urology clinics and undergo the test to find out what is happening to his urinary stream. Now let me tell you what actually is this test. You are seeing a commode like machine in this picture and a patient is asked to pass urine in this machine either by standing in front of it or by sitting over it. There is a funnel kind of system in the machine and when you pass urine in this funnel, it goes into a collection chamber which is capped on a sensor and the sensor is connected to a computer. As patient passes urine into this machine and goes on passing urine into this machine, the sensor records parameters like what was the force of your stream, how much urine you passed and how much time you took in passing the urine. And as you stop passing urine, a graph is generated by this computerized machine. And we look at this graph and can decipher all the information related to these properties of your urination. Since this test measures the flow of the urine of the patient, this test is called Euroflowmetry. What is the need of this test in clinical practice? Which means in what clinical conditions and situations we perform this test on our patients. In fact, any person can undergo this test to obtain the record of his urination pattern. But we as doctors and physicians like to perform in certain clinical conditions. The first situation is whenever a male or a female comes to us with complaints of observing obstruction in passage of urine. This obstruction can be experienced by either a male patient or a female patient or even a child. The commonest example of a disease leading to obstruction in urinary flow is enlargement of the prostate. This condition is very common in aging males. The prostate becomes larger and it creates obstruction in the outflow of urine from the urinary bladder. If you see a younger male, in them more common disease is narrowing in the urethral passage which is known as urethral stricture. Some younger males can develop infection in their prostate gland, a condition which is known by as chronic prostatitis. So either a blockage in the urethral passage known as a stricture or enlargement of the prostate because of benign disease or because of malignant disease or infection in the prostate, any of these diseases may require the investigation by uroflometry. Then there are some ladies who experience difficulty in passing urine and the common reason is narrowing occurring in their urethral passage or 
developing a small tumor like disease in their urethral passage or in some patients they develop large fibroids in their uterus which compresses the neck of urinary bladder so any such thing in a female structure of urethra a tumor on the outlet of urethra or a mass in the uterus can give rise to difficulty in passing urine and for these conditions we do this test urophlometry the third situation is whenever we see a patient of prostatic uh, disease and we put him on medical therapy so before starting medical therapy we do this test and thereafter at regular periodic interval we perform this test again and again to ascertain the quantum of response the patient is getting the fourth clinical situation is that whenever a patient undergoes an operation on their urethral passage to treat the stricture for example then to ascertain the outcome of surgery say for example somebody has undergone endoscopic surgery on urethral stricture the operation is known as uh, dviu or he has undergone a plastic surgery on a urinary passage operation known as urethroplasty so we do this test the fifth situation is in females who undergo the operation to treat their stricture so in them also to see the improvement the patient is experiencing we create documentary evidence of their urinary flow the sixth situation is those patients who develop diabetes or those who have a neurological disease which can adversely influence the functioning of urinary tract diabetes when it is more than 15 years particularly it influences bladder functions and those patients who have a complex neurological disease like hemiplegia paraplegia parkinsonism or those patients who have disease in their vertebral column and spinal cord like injuries like tumors or tuberculosis they can also have problems in the urination so in these patients to know the contractile power of urinary bladder we do the test of urophlometry so at the end of the test you will get a graph generated by the machine and we will know all your problems so thank you very much for watching this video i am sure you are benefited by the information provided herein in case you have any questions you can write to me on my email